Hi guys and welcome back for another math lesson. On our previous video, na-discuss na natin ang part 1 ng ating measures of position for group data. So we all know na ang measures of position ay isang technique that divides the data into equal groups. Aside from that, we have already discussed also the different kinds of the measures of position. Gaya na lang ni quartile, which divides the data into four equal groups. Deciles that divides the data into exactly 10 equal groups. And percentile that divides the data into 100 equal groups. And also sa ating previous video, na-discuss ko na kung paano nga ba mag-solve ng measures of position using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. So sa video na to, ang i-discuss ko naman ay paano ba mag-solve ng measures of position using the linear interpolation method. Ito yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin for our topic for today. Kung ang ilolocate nating position ay under ng quartiles, we will use the formula Q sub K equals K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 4. Kay decile naman, D sub K equals K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 10. While kay percentiles naman, P sub K equals K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 100. So just like in Sinsich and Mendenhall method, meron din tayong steps to follow in solving using the linear interpolation. Take note that a linear interpolation is another method of finding the measures of position. So for our step 1, kailangan nating i-arrange ang mga numbers in ascending order. Step 2, we are going to locate the position of the score in the distribution. Step 3, we will be finding the difference between the two values wherein Q sub K or D sub K or P sub K is situated. After that is the step 4 where we will be getting the decimal part result in step 2 and we will multiply it with the result in step 3. And lastly, ia-add natin ang result ni step 4 sa smallest number kay step 3 to get the value of the Q of K, D of K, or P of K. Para mas maintindihan nyo ng maigi, let us have illustrative examples. Let us say that the following are the scores of 12 students of grade 10 Dama de Noche in their 30 item math test. From the given problem, let us solve for Q1, D7, and P45. Let us try to solve for the Q1 first. So yung first step natin ay kailangan natin i-arrange ang data into ascending order. That means, isusulat natin siya from the lowest score up to the highest score. After natin siyang ma-arrange in ascending order, ilolocate na natin ngayon yung position ng score sa distribution gamit yung formula natin for the Q1. So, Q sub K equals K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 4. All we have to do is to substitute the value of K which is equal to 1 since ang inahanap natin ay Q1 at isubstitute ang value ni N which is equal to 12 since there are 12 data in the distribution. That will give us Q sub 1 is equal to 1 times the quantity 12 plus 1 divided by 4. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13, that will give us Q sub 1 is equal to 1 times 13 divided by 4. 1 times 13 divided by 4 is equal to 3.25. That means ang position ng ating Q1 lies on the 3.25th place ng ating distribution. After that is maglilinear interpolate na tayo sa step 3. What we need to do is to find the difference between the two values wherein Q1 is situated. So if the value of our Q1 is 3.25, kukuhanin natin yung pang third at ang pang fourth na number since 3.25 lies between the third and the fourth number. Since we need to get the difference between the two, ang gagawin lang natin ay isusubtract lang natin yung dalawang numbers. That is, 12 minus 11, which is equal to 1. The next, in the step 4, kukunin natin yung decimal part kay step 2 at imumultiply natin to dun sa result natin kay step 3. Ang decimal part natin kay step 2 
ay 0.25 while ang result naman ni step 3 ay 1. That means on our step 4, 0.25 times is 1 which is equal to 0.25. Lastly, sa ating step 5, we will add the result in step 4 to the smallest number in step 3 to get the value of Q1. Ang result ng ating step 4 ay 0.25 at ang smallest number naman natin sa step 3 ay 11. Ia-add lang natin yung dalawa that will give us 11.25. So the value of our quartile 1 or the lower quartile is equal to 11.25. That means, 25% of the students got a score of less than or equal to 11.25. Let us now try to solve for the D7. Again, sa step 1, ia-arrange lang natin ang data in ascending order. Next, sa ilolocate natin ang position of the score in the distribution, gamit yung formula na D sub K equals K times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 10 since we are looking for the decile 7. Substitute lang natin yung value ni k which is equal to 7 at ang value naman ni n which is equal to 12. So we have d sub 7 equals 7 times the quantity 12 plus 1 divided by 10. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13, that is why we have d sub 7 equals 7 times 13 divided by 10. 7 times 13 is equal to 91 divided by 10 which is equal to 9.1. Next naman ay hahanapin natin ang difference between the two values where the d sub 7 is situated. Since we have 9.1, Ang kukunin natin na number ay ang pang 9 at ang pang 10 na number sa distribution since 9.1 lies between the two numbers. So we have 22 and 24. Isusubtract lang natin yung dalawa that will give us 24 minus 22 which is equal to 2. The next step ay kukunin natin yung decimal part kay step 2 at imumultiply natin ito sa result ni step 3. So that is 0.1 times 2, which is equal to 0.2. And lastly, ia-add natin ang result natin kay step 4, kay smallest number kay step 3. So that is 0.2 plus 22, that will give us 22.2. That means our d sub 7 is equal to 22.2. Using the same problem, you try to solve for the p45. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.